everyone welcome back to my latest rally video before we get into the video i want to talk about the daily 10k gems giveaway i do a 10k gems giveaway on every single video all you got to do to join is hit the thumbs up button uh be subscribed and then answer the daily question of the day and the daily question today is who do you think would win in a foot race uh worthy prince or sneaky tashi that's all i want to know it's kind of a fun one today it's kind of a throwaway question anyways in the background this is the uh, 2 million gems giveaway winner. Um, he was getting his speed ups and stuff. So we got 233 days, 505, 24 hours, and then 15,000 steel cups. Uh, that will allow him to finish his tier four research, which is good. And he wants to build a rally trap. So that will get him most of the way on the troops. Um, he has some speed or uh, resources already, so he can have that set up. So anyways, congrats to our winner there. And we'll get into the rally today. So the rally is gonna be against XX Shogun. We're gonna be starting off with a double rally. We will move into a quad rally. That'll be later on in the video, but we'll start off with a little bit of a double. Um, our leader is gonna be Hellchap. He's gonna be in Toph, and our main guild there is gonna be Locky WLF. Um, you've probably seen him in plenty of my videos already, so. Um, he is an amazing rally lead. He has around 900% stats, by the way, and he uh, fluctuates anywhere from 400 to 800 mil, depending on how many troops he has. If he's around 800 mil, he has a lot of troops, by the way, so. Um, and then Hellchap is the one we're going to be seeing our perspective thumps from. So we're going to start off the double rally. I believe they've set it up so Locky will hit first, um, that, which is good. He's probably the stronger one anyway, so it's good for him to get rid of some of the troops. And then we'll be hitting second on this one. I think there's also a third rally going on in, in the back there. Um, you can't see it. They'll be hitting third, but we've kind of timed it as a double rally, and they, come, it came, they came in later as a third rally. So it's technically a triple, but we're, we didn't time it as a triple. So we timed it as a double with someone who came in a little bit later so anyways so we're popping the boost here going to get ready to put on our gear we have this time perfectly so that uh, locky will hit first um all our rallies are timed very well so we know when who's gonna be hitting first uh when everything's me uh what's called walking and all all that so we'll be hitting with infantry for this one you can see the sexy infantry gear there going on uh locky's gonna come in i don't think either of us gonna walk back uh locky's leader did come back so i wasn't sure if that was a bunny or a hell rider uh but locky did do uh 5.3 million we did 4.1 one 130 million drop on the first rally so huge drop again we can't go in for the second one unless someone frees us so we'll have to wait to see what happens with uh umm's uh rally again i call them um so I, I'm not sure if that's what they call themselves, but I call them them. So uh, the rally will be coming in here. Boom, there it goes. We did get, we did miss the uh, walk on the recorder, but we got it right when it hit. So the, the rally hit there, uh, dropped him quite a bit. That means uh, Chap did get his leader back. So he's going to start try and start another rally. Uh, but I think someone had already uh, started the rally because uh, he had already lost his leader. So uh, Chap was a little bit slow on that one. But I mean, not slow. He didn't have his leader. Nothing he could do. So uh, Chap's actually going to actually leave the uh, the rally here because they've got it pretty much set up. And he's going to go jump over into HS, which is our main guild. Uh, by the way, HS is recruiting Tier 5 players, low might Tier 5 players. So I'm talking like five, 600 mil might if you have a Tier 5 account around that. Think about joining us. We do some crazy rallies and we go into who, uh, some smaller kingdoms so you're not having to fight against a bunch of billion might players. Uh, you get to fight people around your might. And if you're a low might uh, tier five player, that's really nice because you're pretty strong then. So, um, so it looks like uh, Chap's gonna be joining the main rally here. And again, we're not looking for tier four players. We only have a couple spots left in HS at the time, at, at, as I'm saying it right now. So um, if you're a uh, tier four player, but you have a crazy account and really good stats, that's fine because rally leads will always take rally leads. But if you're a rally joiner, we are looking for tier five players. So uh, either high stats, by the way, high stats for us is over 800% uh, for rally leads. So or around 800% or higher. Um, so if you're like a 650, we're not really looking for those rally leads because those are almost our third tier rally leads. Uh, we have a bunch of people in the 700s and then we have people in the 800s. So we're looking for more, maybe 800% guys, even 700 we'll look for, but, um, and then, uh, tier, <coughs> sorry, tier five, uh, joiners as well. So that's kind of what we're looking for. So anyways, we're about a minute away from the next round of rallies. And I think this next round was pretty much the uh, zero because he probably doesn't have many troops left after the first three rallies um he's already burned so he's already showed that he doesn't have enough troops to cap another rally so uh one or two more rallies here will zero him and yeah, i think he ends up around 300 mil might at the end so he had about 300 mil might in troops um yeah we were having to split a bunch here though because again 
we are a super active guild, so uh, like 100,000 is pretty much the most we can send to a rally. Um, sometimes we are capped at 75,000, and then we hit the actual uh, joiner cap, I think. So. so I think there's a joiner cap around 30 or 40 people joining a rally. So um, once you hit that cap, no more people can actually join the rally. So it looks like... Uh, Amir is going to be the rally lead for Toph here. It looks like they might hit first. No, we're going to hit first because uh, we're a little bit faster than a rally. So we did time this pretty good. Um, so it looks like they're going to be coming in and uh, our rally is going to pop out right around now. Oh, no, wait, never mind. For some reason, I thought our rally is coming. Anyways, I, I was totally wrong about this. There you go. Um, may, oh, maybe oh, maybe we'll hit before them. We are we are much faster. I think we're setting cab. That's why. So there you go. So I wasn't I wasn't wrong. I'm like I did not misremember this. We hit first there, and then Toph hit next. So we'll see how much damage we actually hit on this one. And then it looks like uh, Chaps here is just going to speed in, and try and uh, clean up any troops that are left. But there, I don't think there's anything left after those two rallies because you'll see how much uh, Lockie did. So uh, Chap is switching to his cav gear. You can see the cav gear is quite good there. Um, again, all his gear is pretty good. So <laughs> no bunny duck. Yeah, that, that that's not that's not me by the way. That's that's Chap. <laughs> I, everyone keeps uh, messaging him, like, "Hey, Doc, how are you doing?" I was like, "It's it's not me. It's him." <laughs> so um, anyway, so we did uh, 3.8 million on the rally. So Lockie. He, uh, smacked him again it was mostly tier 4 troops as well so a lot of tier 4 dead there um yeah so that was a pretty good hit we uh, got a good zero on this guy sometimes it's uh, hard to find uh targets because either they're on long line and they're shielding or um or they're just shielded because <laughs> um sometimes when we go to king those people just like straight up shield like all you see like billy might players shielding and we're like we're like a bunch of like 700 500 mil might people running around and all these billion mites are shielded because of it because they're not used to the uh, the uh the smaller uh, people being so strong so they end up just shielding but yeah you can see the last couple of rallies there ended up zeroing him so um we'll move on to the next rally so um we had a couple more rallies and then we tried to set some quad rallies a bunch of people shielded unfortunately again for those two so um we were trying to find some online fury targets and maybe just carpet in because that's basically all we could do at that point because everyone was shielding our quad rallies. Um, this guy, unfortunately, got caught in Fury, so we ended up rallying him, but I don't think he had many troops for this one. I think I think a single rally ended up burning him, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. So, um, so uh, we'll take a look here. Yeah, here he is. He's poured over here now. Um, we're spamming him like like a lot of spam, but I think we end up getting his scout and end up canceling the rally because uh, we knew one rally was going to burn him and Lockie was already next to him, so... Or we actually started walking and then Lockie ended up burning him. But yeah, so uh, Chapman is getting ready here. Just going to pop on the infantry gear as he's walking. Because you don't want to be caught out of gear um, when your rally's walking. Because um, the guy could just pour it away and eat your rally while you're out of gear. And it doesn't do much damage. Because it's it's basically a, uh, not a leaderless rally, but more of a gearless rally. Like in speed up gear. I, I, I love doing that if I'm taking rallies, by the way. Uh, if you're a rally trap... That's the best thing to do is basically as the rally is about to walk, um, if you were set up as a rain trap and you're just planning on taking it in that rain, uh, what you do is you basically just sit on the random rotator and as soon as you see that message for the coalition is coming in, you just hit that random and it, like 90% of the time you'll catch the rally lead out of gear. Uh, a lot of times they're not fast enough uh, just because there was always a second or two delay before before the rally walks and them switching their gear. Yeah, so if you guys are able to catch them out of gear, um, that's how sometimes I can eat rallies on solo traps and stuff like that as well. Or just like rallies you usually shouldn't be able to take it from, or you usually take lots of damage from, you can really reduce it. So if you can do that, that's really cool. But also you do you don't want to have them switch gear and then full counter to you as you pour it away. That's also something you gotta watch out for. So sometimes it's risky and sometimes it pays off, but I, I find most of the time it will pay off. But that one time it doesn't pay off, it does hurt. So here comes Lockie's rally. It's coming in. Uh, the guy's at 321 and he basically just smacks him out because Again, I think the guy only had like three or four million troops. Um, did quite a bit of damage. I don't think many of those losses were Lockies. I think most of them were his. So uh, most of those three mil there were just him basically almost getting zeroed in one hit. Uh, but we did have another target. So Chap was trying to speed back. I think Chap had his bunny on at this point or maybe the next rally pops his bunny so we'll take a look there um again uh we are trying to set this up really fast because as soon as um 
people in the kingdom know you're doing a quad rally, a lot of them will either get on or start shielding up or start telling each other all that. So if you're doing a rally party, you have to do it quickly. You can't be uh, just lollygagging around for a couple hours because by that time, most people know what's going on unless they're sleeping. So we did pick up this other uh, guy here. Uh, he was about 600 mil might as well. So we started setting the uh, quad rally here on him. Uh, we'll, we'll go over the rally leads this time just because we are set up here. So uh, Hell Snitch is going to be in BBB. Uh, Hell, Hell Chap is uh, the one we're, we're, the count we're on right now is an HS, the main guild. Again, BBB is an alt guild. Uh, then we have uh, uh, what's called Lockie and Toph which I think was an ally guild. And then Lamp is over an Um, which is also an ally guild. Again, these are all our rally leads. These aren't uh, other people's rally leads. So um, I, I I think we just went into their guilds to, to lead the rallies because I think Lamp is around like 800 and something. And then Chap is around 800 something. Lockie's closer to 900. And I don't know what Hellsnitch's stats are, but it's pretty good as well. So Lockie's going to be posting the, uh, what's called... Uh, his rabbit now because we are going blind into the 600 mil might who's sitting in the wonder here so we'll see how we do um the four rallies are walking he's starting at about 611 mil so um he could take quite a few rallies we'll see how it goes looks like we he did eat a couple but then i think he burned on the third and i think ours was a third rally so we will get the report here so he had about 10.4 million troops when we hit him hit him about for 2.4 million looks like lamp hit him for 6.4 uh, Hell Snitch hit for 4.7. Unfortunately, Lockheed didn't hit because he would hit pretty hard too. Uh, when we hit him for 4 million, which is about 2 million reds there. So uh, we did get a walk back. Uh, unfortunately, again, he got burned out of the wonder. If you guys don't know, if you get burned in the wonder, it cancels all rallies against you. So if you're ever in trouble, you have like 10 rallies set on you and you burn after the first one and you're in the wonder, guess what? The other 10, the other nine rallies get canceled and then the price basically saves you. So if you're ever in a sticky situation and you're in fury and all these rallies get set on you just pour it into the wonder because as soon as you burn all the other ones get cancelled and it could save you a, a ton of troops and again it did save this guy a ton of troops too because he was down to eight million troops and if lucky hit him he might have been down to like two million troops after that one so um, again that was a really good one but there is the bunny on right now so uh Ch or i think chap both chat i think everyone basically popped their bunnies for that one too so i know locky has his bunny ready and chap so we were going on for some more rallies here in here boom we're hitting this dpk guy coming here in here burning him here on um, yeah unfortunately we didn't get the run up for this one too so it did did happen right away here sorry we went really fast into it uh no lead up but yeah we did hit him on this one he was not in the wonder so all the rallies hit him and i think he pretty much got one bang from the uh, four rallies there um Oh, actually, no. He got one bang from three rallies, and the fourth one did nothing because he was already lost his leader. So, uh, Chap, uh, that was us, did 4.5 million on the first rally, or 7.5, sorry, which was about 5 million reds. And then the second rally and third one, he basically had no troops left. So, um, yeah, you can see 4.8 million reds on the first rally here. So, really good job by uh, Chap on that one. Um, we still have the bunny active though. So if you guys don't know, uh, bunny is what allows you to get your leader back and there's a 30 minute cooldown. But if you burn the guy and don't you lose your leader, that means you still have the bunny active. So it only uh, deactivates uh, once uh, once you lose your leader. So um, we're going to quickly try and find as many targets as possible. But again, unfortunately, there was hard to find any targets here. Uh, most of the people, again, shielded. So we're kind of out of luck, but yeah, so we uh, poured around this guy. Um, I think, unfortunately, he got online, so um, that was the last rally. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't know I ended it there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, rally vid today. I will have some more uh, videos coming out this week. I have uh, some more trap, well, like a bunch of more trapping videos. So anyways, um, if you guys haven't joined the 10K Gems giveaway, um, all you got to do is hit the like button, uh, be subscribed, and comment down below uh, who you think would win in a foot race between Worthy Prince and Sneaky Tashi. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.